The given question is a medium difficulty GRE quantitative reasoning practice question. This question is a select one or more answers question. This is from the topic number properties, focuses on the concept of factors and HCF. Which of the following numbers are factors common to 108, 288 and 396? Indicate all such numbers. These are actually the more difficult variants. They are not telling you how many of these answer options are right. So we need to select all answer options that are right and we need to select only those answer options that are right. From among these six numbers, we need to select those numbers which are factors common to all the three numbers. Two basic ways of going about it. One is using concepts theory, which is how I'm going to be solving. The second one, you basically pick each of these numbers, check out whether they will divide 108, 288 and 396. If they divide all the three numbers, then that's one of the answer options. So both are valid methods. I'm going to start with the concept and theory method. You guys can try out after running through this video, check out from the answer options and run through it whether that makes sense. The second method is equally a valid method. You're going to pick up 72, check out whether it will divide 108, you'll check whether it will divide 288 and check whether it will divide 396. If it does not divide even one of these numbers to start with, you don't even have to bother looking at that answer option. Let's go about it in a structured textbook theoretical approach. So I want you to learn that method as well. This select solving this using the theoretical approach entails two steps. The first step is we're going to compute the HCF of all these three numbers. We are not finding out all factors. We are finding out the highest factor that's common to all these three numbers. Let's say the HCF of these three numbers is an H. So this H is going to divide 108. So 108 is divisible by H. 288 is also divisible by H. And 396 is also divisible by H. Second step is what is going to give us the answer. List down all the factors of this HCF. That will give you the entire set of factors common to all these three numbers. Why does it work? I'll give you a simpler example to explain this. Let's take a number such as 8. 8 is divisible by 4. That's known to us. We know that 4 is divisible by 2. That is also known to us. If 8 is divisible by 4 and we know that 4 is divisible by 2, we can infer that 8 is divisible by 2. 8 is divisible by a number which in turn is divisible by another number. So if 2 divides 4, then 2 divides 8. That's something that we can infer. That's exactly the process I'm going to go here. The HCF of these three numbers is H. So H divides all these three numbers. That's established. Let's say this HCF has got exactly two factors just for sake of understanding. Let's say those factors are F1 and F2. So F1 will divide H. F2 will also divide H. Look at it. 8 is divisible by 4. 4 in turn is divisible by 2, which means 8 should be divisible by 2. 108 is divisible by the HCF. The HCF in turn is divisible by F1, which means that 108 will be divisible by F1. 108 will be divisible by F2. So will 288 be. So will 396 be. So if you find the HCF and list down all the factors of the HCF, we have found out all numbers that are common factors of these three numbers. Start with step one. Let's find out the HCF of these three numbers. Finding the HCF entails two steps. Step A, prime factorize these three numbers. Prime factorizing 108. 108 is a 4 times 27. 4 is not prime, so that's 2 square. 27 is not prime, that's 3 cube. So 2 square into 3 cube is what we have. 288 is a 32 times 9. 32 is a 2 power 5. 9 is a 3 square. 396, this number is divisible by 9. 44 times 9 is 396. So 9 is a 3 square. 44 is a 4 into 11, which is 2 square times 11. So prime factorized all the three numbers. The HCF is the product of the lowest power of the common primes. Lowest power of common primes. I'll start from here. What are all the prime numbers common to all these three numbers? 2 is a prime factor of all the three numbers. So let me take 2. 3 is also a prime factor common to all the three numbers. 11 is not. So these are the two prime factors common to all the three numbers. What's the lowest power of 2 that we find in these numbers? 2 square, 2 power 5, 2 square. So we'll go with a 2 square. In the case of 3, 3 cube, 3 square, 3 square. So let's go with a 3 square. The product of the lowest power of the common primes is the HCF. 2 square is a 4, 3 square is a 9. So 4 times 9, 36 is the answer. So HCF of all these three numbers is 36. Let's consolidate up till this point in a printed form. Step A of computing the HCF, your prime factor is the three numbers. 2 square into 3 cube, 2 power 5 into 3 square, 2 square times 3 square times 11. The HCF is the product of the common primes in their lowest power. Common primes are 2 and 3. Lowest power of 2 and 3 are both 2. So we're going with the 2 square and 3 square. So the HCF of these three numbers is a 36. Step 2, we're going to list down all factors of 36. I've kept the answer options handy so that after you have listed down the factors, we can pick and choose from the answer options which we find from the factors that we have listed down. 
the hcf of these three numbers is a 36 so we need to list down all factors of 36 how do we quickly list down all factors of 36 and ensure that we have listed down all of those factors follow this process whenever you let it list down factors one is a factor of 36 so take one correspondingly take 36 as well 1 times 36 is 36. So you have written down two factors the moment you have identified one of them. 2 divides 36. What times 2 is 36? 18 times 2 is 36. So 2 and 18, we pick two more factors the moment we have identified 2. 3 divides 36, correspondingly 3 times 12. So you got two more factors. 4 divides 36, correspondingly 4 times 9 is a 36. 6 divides 36, 6 times 6 is a 36. So we have written down 6 once, that's enough. 7 does not divide 36, 8 does not divide 36, 9 divides 36, we have taken down 9 already. Once you have reached a factor that you have already written down, that's a place where you stop this process. So list down all factors of 36 in a systematic way. How many factors does it have? It's got 9 factors. Now we are going to go to the answer options and check out whether the answer option given is one of the common factors you have listed down. All of these factors of 36 are factors common to 108, 288 and 396. 72 is not one of the answer options. 24 is not found in one of these factors. 36 is found. 36 is here. 8 is not found. 12 is one of the common factors. So let's go with the 12. 9 is one of the common factors. So how many of these answer options are common factors? 9, 12 and 36. Answer options C, E and F are the correct answers. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. We listed down all factors of 36. Listed down in pairs whenever they are asking you. 1, 36, 2, 18. 3, 12, 4, 9, and then finally a 6. Check with the answer option. We find that 9, 12, and 36 are the correct answers. Choices C, E, and F are the correct ones. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up as a trial user at wzko.in slash quant. It's one of the most comprehensive online GRE quant course that you can find. And it's one of the affordable ones too. Get started with the free topics. Been free lessons given in averages, in statistics, in data interpretation. Get used to the teaching methodology, the UI, UX. Use the app in Android or in iOS. Get comfortable with the learning process and kickstart your GRE preparation. Subsequently, you can pay and convert and get access to the remaining topics behind the paywall. Second thing I want you to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash GRE and turn on notifications so that you get notified every time we post new videos. Best wishes for your GRE preparation. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe and stay motivated.